UCLA trailed for three hours, but they're gonna go home with smiles on their faces. A great comeback, and it was both offense and defense for the Bruins in the key to the 4-3 win. Pick it up early in the game, and USC is Timmy Robinson with a man aboard, his eighth of the year, and it's 2-0 SC. UCLA ended up getting a run in the bottom of the first, but then in the third, Jeremy Martinez, an RBI double for SC. Trojans back up, three to one. Move to the sixth inning. Eric Falia, great at bat for him, inside out for the double. Chases home Brad Stevens, three to two. Now we move to the eighth, it starts getting exciting. Well it does, and how often did you see this? A defensive gem from Christoph Bono, who comes up throwing at the plate. Perfect throw, Jeremy Martinez again. Can't quite get there, not your speediest guy. And again, we'll see a play like that later in the game that comes back. And it's another big one. Daniel Rosica, the catcher for UCLA. But Cord Peterson ties the game with an RBI single in the eighth. And then here's the go ahead on a sacrifice fly by Jeff Priest, the freshman designated hitter. Luke Persico steps on the plate, 4 3 UCLA. They go to the ninth and they need more defense. Court Peterson in right. Well, look, how often do you get a, a chance to talk about the same guy twice to help you win the ball game? And what I love is the play at the plate by Daniel Rosico. He hangs in there, tough play, gets smoked. He gets hit a little bit, tough kid. Hunter Verant comes in, he faces one guy, but it was the toughest guy of the night. David Oppenheim, who had singled three times for USC, strikes him out on a bad pitch, but pretty good pitch if you're a UCLA fan, right? Four to three is the win. UCLA, you see Robinson's home run, his eighth tied for the team lead. Oppenheim, the three singles. He also got aboard on a hit by pitch and scored two runs. But it was Court Peterson tied the game with an RBI single and helps UCLA protect that lead with a big gun in the top of the ninth inning. It's the Crosstown Showdown. So, of course, it's going to go to the final game Sunday night at six.